What's going on, y'all? Professor Angry John back, and no, I'm not happy. I'm I'm here to say, and I hope all New York Mets fans are here to say this with me. If Steve Cohen is listening, if who if whoever needs to listen to this to understand, Billy Epler and Buck Walter are jokes, and they deserve to be fired. They deserve to go. They have no clue what they're doing. This is a combination of a poorly built team, a poorly built team, and a combination of that mixed with a team that is mismanaged so heavily, so disgraceful to watch. This team just went in the month of June 7 and 19. Let me repeat that. In 26 games in the month of June, they went 7 and 19. That is awful for any Major League Baseball team. I don't care how much talent you have. I don't care what kind of players and managers you have. Going 7 and 19 in any month is awful. They have blown 13 saves this month in six runs. In, in games in which they scored six runs, they have 12 losses. This team is a bad team because they find ways to lose. No matter the situation, doesn't matter whether it's the pitching's fault, doesn't matter whether it's the hitting's fault, doesn't matter whether it's the bullpen's fault, doesn't matter when they make errors, doesn't matter when they can't run the bases, doesn't matter when they can't catch a fly ball. They are awful head to toe. Billy Epler has not done a good job. And I'll go some through his roster moves that have been awful that are on display right now um you know and it's funny because most of these guys the guys that do good aren't him it's the previous regime that brought these guys in but you know what i mean i mean for the life of me let's just start with the position players i i don't know what what especially with the shuffling i, I don't know what happened to jeff mcneil i mean his, it's not that he's not making contact with the ball, but he's just not getting hits. I mean, tonight he got two hits, but still, he's under 260 now. He, he won a batting title, so something obviously happened. I honestly think this analytics nonsense has ruined the Mets offense at times. They try and hit homers, and the only guy that should be trying to do that is Pete Alonso, because he is the only true power hitter in this lineup. I mean... There's, there's also just Mark Canna, who's just underperformed since last year. Another guy um, just puts up awful at-bats and, and terrible fight, too. I mean, I'd love to see him gone. Just no heart whatsoever. The mismanagement of the kids. I mean, there's times where Alvarez isn't playing. There's times where Brett Beatty got pinch hit for this week after he hit a home run. Mark Vientos was up here. Buck didn't like him. He decides to play Danny Vogel back over him, who, by the way, is a power hitter, or supposed to be, and he has five homers. That's terrible as a power hitter. Mark Canna has the same amount of homers. Brett Beatty has the same amount of homers. They're not power hitters. But Danny Vogel back, for some reason, needs a spot on this team over Mark Vientos. Makes no sense from Epler or Showalter. I mean, just I, I just so many flops on this team that it's awful. I mean, the regression of also Starling Marte has been dreadful this year. I don't know if it's injury. I don't know if it's older age. But, I mean, tonight, you know, he, he gets thrown out uh, to basically end the game. I mean, there's times where he can't catch a fly ball. There's times where he, you know, the two days ago he... He grounds into a double play, and he struck out uh, on three bad pitches to end, end the game. Uh, I mean, just awful with hit runners in the scoring position, him hitting. Uh, just terrible, terrible. And, and this is only the position players. We didn't even get to the pitching. <laughs> we, our pitching staff has been atrocious. Our pitching, this staff has been atrocious. They give up a lot of homers. They give up a lot of walks. They do not pitch deep into games. I mean, Jesus it's a joke when every fifth day I got to throw out Carlos Carrasco in this rotation. How bad is that? How bad? How bad? How much worse could it get? And let's not forget Billy Epler failed this bullpen miserably. Ottavino 
basically gives up runs every time he's here. And, you know, we just we just put in random guys this year. Drew Smith, I mean, a walking machine. Jeff Brigham, a guy they didn't scout in their own division. Awful. Dominic Leone, another terrible waiver pickup. I mean, the list goes on. Josh Walker. I, 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 I it just doesn't stop. Like, wh why, why is TJ McFarland on this team? Like, it's just embarrassing at this point, man. Enough's enough. I, I, I've had it. And the fact that, you know, I, I'm blaming this on Epler and Showalter is because after the game, Epler said, you know, if teams doubt us, they're gonna make a mistake. We're 10 games under 500. The only mistake that's being made is the fans spending money on this team to go watch them or turning their television on to go watch them because they don't deserve to be watched. They have been dreadful as a team. Remember, Buck was proud when he, after we got swept in Atlanta. Buck doubled down after the Philly series when he blew that series because of his bullpen mismanagement. And now Buck is still saying the same stuff after we gave another lead, we were winning 4-2 tonight, and we gave up another lead because of our bullpen. Another one. And Billy Epler failing to get a bullpen, or, or attempting to build one, failing to address starting pitching, uh, letting Chris Bassett walk, and uh, just bringing in older guys has not worked. Failing to address the DH spot, he traded last year for Vogelback and Darren Ruff. Neither worked out. In fact, he gave up an all-star in J.D. Davis or a near all-star. He's having a good year. Fa failing to allow prospects to get some decent at-bats, and this is Buck's fault too, so get some decent at-bats in the majors is just awful. Awful. I, I have not seen a team so poor with effort so putrid out there it it really really frustrates me because you know what i look at that team in, in the bronx across town with the yankees i understand they are far from a perfect team but they don't deal with this nonsense they don't deal with this nonsense at least they they've been winning games recently they have been winning some games so i, I don't i don't i, I don't want to hear you know this, that, and the third, because this Mets team is a joke. Buck Showalter and Billy Epler should be fired. And the fact that Steve Cohen has allowed it to go this long and even announced this week, and he announced that they'll be here probably till the end of the season, is just an awful management. I don't care that it's not, we need continuity. No, you need good continuity. You don't need this continuity staining your franchise. It, we, be, we are a literal stain out there. So, again, I've, I have become a defeated fan, and I can't take much more. So, thanks everyone for listening, for tuning in, and I will see you in the next video.